Welcome to PSD Tutor. In this video, we'll be doing a travel graph. The question says the diagram below shows the speed time graph of a 100 meter sprinter who accelerates uniformly for 3 seconds and he reaches a speed of 12 meters per second. He maintains the speed for 7 seconds and then uniformly retards for further 4 seconds and comes to a stop. So you can see the time graph there. A speed time graph. Question A says calculate the acceleration during the first 3 seconds. Now we know that acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. And in this case, we have our final velocity, which is 12 there, minus 0. Time taken is 3. So we are saying when something is accelerating in the first 3 seconds, it is under this area. From zero is accelerating in the first three seconds. So this is the same as 12 over 3. That's going to give us acceleration of 4 meters per second squared. B says retardation of at the end of the race. Retardation means negative acceleration. So we are considering this part which is opposite to the other part. So retardation is just negative acceleration. Final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. Our final, ve our final velocity in this case is zero here. It is starting from there. So zero minus our initial velocity is 12 there. And time taken is a difference between 14 and 10, which is going to give us 4, which will be negative 12 over 4. Hence, acceleration will be equal to negative 3 meters per second squared. Or you can say retardation is equal to 3 meters per second squared. When you say acceleration is equal to negative 3, it means negative acceleration or retardation. But when you use the word retardation in the first place, you don't add the negative as itself. It means negative acceleration. C says that the distance he covered in the first 10 seconds. Now the first 10 seconds is covered in that area. And we are having... A shape of this form which is a trapezium this is a this is b and that's height we are going to find this distance using the area of a trapezium which is given by half a plus b times h we can replace a it's a difference between 3 and 10 which is 7 we are saying half 7 plus b is from there to there which is from 0 to 10 which is 10 itself and the height is from 0 to 12 which is 12 and 10 plus 7 are saying that is 17 times 12 over 2 when we multiply 17 by 12 is going to give you 204 over 2 hence the distance is 102 meters Another question that says the diagram below shows the speed time graph of a car journey. Find the acceleration during the first five seconds. Acceleration, like I said, is in this area. Hence, you are saying acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. Our final velocity, you can see that is 30, initial is 0, and the time taken is 5. So, acceleration is equal to 30 over 5. That's going to give us 6 meters per second squared. B says, if the total distance covered, traveled, sorry, was 825 meters, find the value of T. Now, we you know that the total time taken here is uh, T, and the, the total distance taken is 825. Now, looking at the shape that we have, which is a trapezium, we know that from there, we know that distance is half A plus B. Times h. Now distance has been given as 825 half. A is the difference between 5. A is this area. So between that and that. That is between 5 and 15 which give us a difference of 10. And B is from there 0 to where T is. So we are saying T here. Height is from 0 to 30. Then from there we are going to cross multiply. So 2 is going to multiply 825. 
So 825, when you multiply it by 2, we are getting 1650, which is equal to 10 plus 30. We can distribute 30 or over. I'm going to have 300 plus 330. So you can collect the like terms there and say 300 is equal to 30. So we are saying 30 is equal to 1350. So we are saying 30t is equal to 1350 so divided by 30 divided by the 30 and you are going to get 45 seconds as the value of t so t is 45 seconds so that's how you find any in that case find the average speed for the whole journey now you know that average speed is equal to total distance covered we're saying total distance covered over total time taken total, total distance is actually 825 meters and total time taken is a 45 which when you multiply dividing give us average speed of 18.33 meters per second Question, the, the last question says, the diagram below is a, is a speed time graph of a particle which accelerates uniformly from rest for 12 seconds until it reaches a speed of 24 meters per second. It moves at a constant speed for a further 12 seconds before it accelerates uniformly for another 6 seconds to a speed of V meters per second. Calculate its acceleration in the first 12 seconds. So we are talking about this area. So acceleration, final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. Final velocity is 24, initial is 0, and time taken is 12. Saying so acceleration is equal to 24 over 12. That is going to give us 2 meters per second squared. Then B says, calculate, find the distance which the particle covered in the first 24 seconds. So the first 24 seconds, we're talking of this area. that, And we have a trapezium as well. So distance is equal to half. A plus B, H, half, A is the difference between 12 and 24, which is 12, and the B is 24 itself, and height is actually 24. And when you add 12 plus 24, that should give you 36, you have divided by 2 times 24. So I'll write it here. We're saying distance is equal to 36 times 24 should give you 864 over 2 and your distance will be 400 432 meters CC has given that the total distance covered was 600 meters calculate the value of V now remember here we've got two trapeziums we've got this trapezium we also have this trapezium so we are going to take into consideration, into consideration those so we know that the distance that, that we calculated under this we're just going to add it so we are saying you know that distance is equal to the distance covered in the first trapezium which is uh, 432 plus the distance that's going to be covered in this other trapezium now when you turn the question upside down, you're going to have that you are having something like this as your trapezium where this is a this is b and this is your height and this will be half a is from 24 to to, to another 24 there or from 0 to 24 which is give you 24 plus B is from 30 to where V is or from 0 to where V is. So we are saying it's actually V itself. And height is from 24 to 30. So the difference which is 6. Now, they are saying 
the total distance covered is 600 so you are putting 600 here in front and say 432 plus we can distribute 6 or over when you do, when you distribute 6 or over you'll be saying 6 times 24 which is 144 plus 6 v over 2 so this 600 minus 432 is actually equal to 144 plus 6 v over t over 2 sorry then 600 you can subtract with uh, 432 that should give you 168 which is equal to 144 plus 6 v over 2 we cannot cross multiply and multiply 168 by 2 which should give you 336 which is equal to 144 plus 6 v so you are saying 336 minus 144 is equal to 6 v so when you find the difference minus 144 i'm going to have 192 is equal to 6 v so over 6 over 6 so i'm going to find that v is, is equal to 32 meters per second so 32 meters per second that's the value of uh, v thank you so much